This is Chuck Harmony, and you can get my R&B from thisisrmb.com. Word. I actually wanted to be a jazz piano player, so I would practice vigorously uh, playing the piano, and um, that's actually how I got started producing because I started doing little tracks so I can improv improvise on um, playing jazz piano. And this, these rap guys used to come by the by the house and listen to my my jazz piano tracks, and they start rapping over them. So um, that's how I got introduced to produ what producing actually was. And <clears throat> and through the years, I just continued and continued getting better at at doing tracks. Now that I knew that I was doing for actual songs and actual for actual rappers and artists or whatever, and then one of my tracks actually landed in the hands of uh, Mr. Neo. And uh, that's how I got my start. Neo heard it, wrote to it. Um, it ended up on Celine Dion album, and there you go. Uh, it was surreal to, to listen. I mean, <clears throat> you hear so many bad singers on your songs <laughs> as an amateur, and when you finally hear somebody that you go from bad and horrible to like one of the greatest of all time, it's like it's kind of big jump. Mm. So it was, it was surreal for me. I mean, that's an association that never goes away because uh, two, or, two of my biggest mentors in the music business are the owners of Compound. That's Neo and that's Tango, man. And um, I wouldn't be sitting here today if it wasn't for both of them. You know what I'm saying? So that's a, um, that's a, a relationship or association that will never go away. Um, I, I'm not officially signed, but them still my guys and, and anything they need. We collaborate. We collaborate to this day, so it's all good. Oh man, I went in with Neo a couple times, and, and we did we did what we normally do. We just we kind of just do great songs. It just kind of happened organically. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I come up with an idea, or he, he he pitch an idea to me, and I sit at the piano and work it out, and then I come up with. It. I think he's close to finishing, um, so I think the sound is in place. I I gave him. Um, I gave him a pretty good song. That's all I can say, it's really, really good. I can't wait to hear it again. Chrisette, she, I, I know she's been in heavy with uh, No ID. I did a few days with her, uh, do a couple more days, and uh, I know one song that we did from uh, the last album is actually gonna be on this album too. Um, I fell in love with Chrisette from her first video. Uh, it was a song called Best of Me, and just the melody on that song, and that was even before I met her. Um, the melody on that song was incredible, and, and just to get a chance to work with her, take her from that to, to the Epiphany album, to the her exploring on Let Freedom Rain, it's just, it's just fun to watch. The, the way that I know that my life changed, it was crazy because <clears throat> my first check I got in the music business, when they deposited that check, I had a negative ten dollars in my account, and it went from a negative ten dollars to seventy-five thousand dollars. That's a change. I felt like I could buy the world. I felt like I could walk around and buy people because I, I had no concept of money. I was like, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a lot of money for somebody who had a negative ten dollars in their account. I bought like. I think like three, four hundred dollars worth of candles. Cause there was this girl, this really fine girl. I was trying to get her number, and she worked at a candle store. <laughs> so I bought all these expensive candles, trying to exp impress her, <laughs> and I didn't get her number. And then the candles melted in my doggone truck. It's a good story. That's a horrible story. <laughs> Cause you know I ain't had no account, so it was all on my ATM card. I was just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, give me, give me three of those, give me two. You know what I'm saying? I'm just feeling like I'm Diddy or somebody. And she still didn't give me a number. Um, I want to go back to school. I want to go back to school to study uh, uh, religion, and I want to go back to school. Uh, music. I want to get my doctor's degree in music. I want to score movies. Um, a lot of stuff. I'm just getting started.
We, we are, man, I think we making the best album uh, in the last five years, honestly. And I never, anybody know me know I don't brag about my work, never do. But this is really something special. Like, I'm just so happy to be a part. Uh, it's, it's something real special. It's Bono on the album. Um, got uh, uh, Nelly Furtado on the album. Got B.O.B. on the album. Um, uh, Nas. It's just, it's, it's really special, man. I can't wait for y'all to hear it.